jQuery install. Now, as you are familiar with various benefits of jQuery, let's see how to download and install jQuery in our application to use it. Downloading jQuery file from jQuery website. So, the first step of using jQuery is to download the jQuery from the jQuery website. For doing that, you need to have the internet connection and go to www.jquery.com Once you have entered this, just press enter. Once you press enter, you are now on the official jquery.com website. In this, there are various tabs. This download tab will help to download all the versions of the jQuery including the latest versions. API documentation tab will help to look at various inbuilt APIs of jQuery and how to use that in our application. We also have the plugins tab. This plugins tab will help to download the inbuilt plugins which is available in the jQuery and directly use it in your application. And there is also a browser support tab. Now we'll look at browser support tab first. Currently we have a latest version of jQuery that is 2.x and we have earlier versions as well that is 1.x. 2.x versions don't support Internet Explorer below 9 that is 2.x version of jQuery provides the support only for Internet Explorer 9 and above. Along with that, it also supports all the latest versions of the browsers like Chrome, Firefox, Safari, Opera and mobile iOS and Android. jQuery version 1.x provides the support from version Internet Explorer version 6 and above. Along with that, it also provides the support for the latest versions of the browser like Chrome, Firefox and so on. Since there may be a chance that the users are still using the earlier versions of browser, Internet Explorer browser like 678. So it is better to use the jQuery version 1.x instead of using 2.x. Now before downloading the jQuery, we'll look at the API documentation of jQuery. On clicking of API documentation tab, you will be navigated to the page where the inbuilt jQuery APIs are been mentioned along with various attributes and the events of the jQuery. If you look here, you will see that there are various jQuery APIs been mentioned here. You can use these APIs. APIs are nothing but the methods which will allow you to access some of the functionalities of the jQuery directly without writing any external code. Along with the APIs, jQuery also has the documentation for various effects that is the animation effects which we discussed earlier. The various events like the browser events or any of the document events or keyboard, mouse or form events. The entire documentation for each of this is been mentioned in the API documentation tab. We also have documentation for various manipulation methods in the jQuery which will help to manipulate a particular page content. So now going back to downloading the jQuery. For downloading jQuery just click on this download tab here. Once you click on download tab you will be navigated to downloading jQuery web page where you will see jQuery 1x version and jQuery 2x version. Since we wanted to download jQuery 1x version the latest version of jQuery 1x is jQuery 1.11.0. So since our users may use Internet Explorer version 678, so we will be downloading jQuery 1x version. Now before downloading that, you can see here there are two things mentioned here. Download the compressed production jQuery version and download the uncompressed development jQuery version. Both of these versions use the same jQuery thing. The only thing, the only difference between, be, between these two versions are the uncompressed development version 
we use it normally while developing our application while developing the code we use the uncompressed development version and once your application is developed completely you use the production version the main difference between these two is the development version is uncompressed and it will allow you to debug the jquery file since you will be able to see clearly what exactly has been written in the jquery file whereas in the production version since it's minified minified and compressed version you won't be able to debug that file appropriately so once you have developed your application completely and are ready for uploading it on the server at that time you can use the production version and for developing the application you can use the development version so if you click on this link you will see here on the address bar js file is been mentioned that is the js file is been opened on inside the browser now as you see you are not able to download this js file the main reason behind this is the browsers don't consider js files as something to be downloaded so instead of doing this just go back and right click on that particular link you will see the option as save link as just click on that particular link and you will get the option to save the jquery file in our case i'll be saving this jquery file in the desktop since after this we are going to create the first jquery based application i'm creating the folder here for first application it is always better to put js library files in a separate folder so that you will be able to distinguish between the different css html and the javascript internal library files so here i am creating another lib folder and i am putting that jquery file in this particular lib folder before saving it just see to it that your j script script file option has been selected instead of all files which will help you to save this file as the javascript file now just click on this save once you clicked on save just go back and check whether the javascript file has been installed or not so here is a lib folder and here is your javascript file so in this way you can download javascript file from the jquery website now as you have downloaded both the development and the production version of jquery js from the jquery website we will now look at an alternative method of referring to the jquery js file without downloading it and keeping it in our application so again going back to the slide referring to jquery file through content delivery networks suppose you don't want to keep jquery js file in your application that is you don't want to host the jquery js file in your application but you still want to use all the jquery functionalities you can do that with the help of content delivery networks content delivery networks will help you to refer to particular jquery js file which is been stored in the server and use it in your application currently both google and microsoft provides the facility of content delivery networks that is you can refer to a particular path where that jquery js file has been stored and you can directly use the functionalities of the jquery in your application for using the google content delivery network inside the head section of your html document inside the script tag just mention the source as this path that is http dot http colon double slash ajax dot google apis dot com slash ajax slash libs slash jquery slash this is the version for which you want to refer to that particular jquery file and this will refer to the minified version of the jquery that is the production version of the jquery so in this way without downloading the jquery js file and keeping it in your application you can directly put this particular thing in your head section and refer to the jquery jquery js file which has been saved 
in the server of the Google. The same thing is been provided by the Microsoft as well for using the Microsoft Content Delivery Network. Similar to the Google, just place this particular content in the head section of your HTML document. The path for referring to the jQuery JS file is http colon double slash ajax dot asp net cdn dot com slash ajax slash jquery slash this is the version which you are using currently and this refers to the minified version that is the production version which you will be using once your application has been completely built and it's ready to upload it to the server so in this way even if you don't want to download the jquery js file and keep it in your application you can still refer to the jQuery file and access all the functionalities of the jQuery. We'll be looking into how to include the jQuery file in the HTML document and access the various functionality of the jQuery in the further slide. Now, as you have downloaded the development version, since we'll be using the production version at the end of our application, once our application has been completely built, we'll see how to download the production version as well. So just go to the jQuery website and click on the production version. Once you click on production version, the production jQuery versions file has been opened inside the browser. Now as compared to the development version, you can see here that you are not able to understand any, any of the code here and there are no spaces mentioned between different lines of code. The main reason behind this is, since it is a production version, it's been compressed and minified so that once the user, end user who wants to use the application, download the application, the production version of the file will be downloaded faster. Now similar to the development version, you won't be able to download the production version as well. So just go back and right click the production version and click on save link as once you click on this, you will see that the development version didn't have this min. This min indicates the minified version. It is not a hard and fast rule, but this is the default naming for the minified version of the jQuery. So now just click on save and you save the minified version of jQuery. Now go back and you will see here that the minified version of jQuery has been downloaded. Now we will further look at how to use the development version of the jQuery in our application. So we will create our first jQuery application.